The Queen, the Crown and the Storyteller There was once upon a time a Queen who had many royal and loyal subjects. Her warriors and statesmen alike, however, looked down on the Queen's Storyteller. Oh, he is a mere harlequin-coated entertainer, they said, telling worthless tales of idle fantasy. No, we are the Queen's most trusted and worthy subjects. Now the Queen had a most beautiful palace garden where she liked to sit. One day the Queen was leaning over a vast and deep pond in the garden that was filled with smooth green lily pads and dazzling dragonflies. Looking in wonder at the reflection of the clouds in the water, she leaned a little further. When alas, the crown fell from her head and sank without trace, despite her frantic efforts to grab it as it tumbled into the water. She called out in a terrible panic and straight away the warriors arrived and dived to retrieve the crown to no avail. Ministers and statesmen consulted together and ordered nets and lines to fish for the precious crown. But they could not find it. There were tears, there were shouts, there was mayhem. Queen and court were in a desperate panic until her storyteller stood up. Once upon a time, he began, there was a missing jewel at the palace. He told a most powerful and fascinating story of crowns and jewels and the finding of secret treasures. Everyone fell under the spell of the tale. And they were very quiet as he concluded. And then to their amazement, he swiftly and nimbly leapt into the water and emerged seconds later with the crown, which he had been able to see so easily now that the waters were undisturbed and still. <laughs>